Hello friends! I am actually almost finished a project here that I wanted to show you. So I have talked to you before, if you remember, um, if you remember everything I say, and I talked about um, a YouTuber that I watch named Boogie Stitcher and how she does a lot of her projects in half stitch. So what she does is instead of doing a full cross stitch, she takes double the threads and she does just a half cross. So for a 14 count, instead of doing two in a cross, she does four just half stitch. So I thought I'd like to try it and I wanted to try it on a smaller project. So. This project is from Seven Great, and I don't know if you remember me unboxing this. I'm really counting a lot on you guys remembering everything I've ever done here. <laughs> so this is Shells of the Lighthouse, and this is a really small project. It's only 22 by 16. Let me go into down view and we'll have a look at it. Okay, so I'm actually almost finished this project, which is why I wanted to start recording before I'm completely done. I just have a tiny bit of work left in the lighthouse. It's this very light blue color and just a little bit in here. So this is like 99 plus percent complete. So this is, like I said, this is a tiny project, 22 by 16. And this one is gonna actually have a lot of back stitch, which will help bring this stuff to life when I'm completely done. But I think you can already see how good this looks from um, a little bit of a distance. I don't have a finished in full cross to be able to compare it to, but I think it looks really good. There's very good coverage with just the half cross with the double count of thread. So, so far I'm really happy with it. I will be interested to see what it looks like once I get the back stitch on. How does back stitch go over, instead of having a full cross, having a half cross, does the back stitch still look the same? Does it look appropriate? There are a few changes I made to this pattern, mostly just right here. So I think this is supposed to be another seashell in the pile and from way far back it looks like that but let me get up close. All right so you can see from up close it's actually a lack of stitching in that area. So if we look at the pattern you'll see like nothing is stitched there, no colors. So it's kind of strange and there is a little bit of back stitch around it making that shell, but you really cannot see the back stitch very well once it's put together. So what I did is I just put a bunch of colors in there and I kind of tried to make a gradation of like lighter on top, a little bit darker as you come down as, and as you come down this way. And maybe for the back stitch, I'm gonna see there are darker and lighter colors of back stitch. So you can see there's some black back stitch and then there's some gray. And I think this is the light gray. So I might, I'm gonna see how it looks and I might go over it with a darker color for the back stitch just to make it clear what that is. Because as I was working on it, it looked, it looked kind of stupid and it wasn't done. The project wasn't done. So maybe it was gonna turn out okay, but I just thought, why not? I have some thread, I will put it on. So you can see from this shot close up what those half stitches look like. It's also very interesting. This color here is actually 5200. So it's the whitest white and it's on a super white canvas. So once I wash the canvas, and that blue comes off from behind, it'll be interesting to see whether that stands out at all, especially where it's around the edges. Like how well is that really gonna show up once you're looking from a, a little further away? But anyway, there's the project as of now, and I think I'm gonna show it to you again. I'm gonna do the back stitch probably before I wash it, and then we'll I'll I'll take some video of washing it because I think that's the funnest thing to watch is the ink come out of the canvas. I have quite a bit of thread left but I did just barely have enough of number eight. I had a piece when I was finished about this long left so if I had made any mistakes there was not enough of number eight to go around. 
All right, so I am now done. I finished the back stitch. I added, um, did I add back stitch? I added a little bit of back stitch in this shell like I talked about. And I'm gonna see how it looks after we do the washing to see if I need to do any more back stitch. The other thing is the welcome each new day. I found it kind of gets muddy in front of the cloud, but I don't know the the actual dye color underneath is the same blue as the stitching. So maybe after that washes out that writing will pop but if not i'll just put a second thread over there so now the funnest part we are going to wash the canvas all right so i just have a little bit of soapy warm water and let's say welcome each new day and i can already see it's starting to get blurry, the printing here. No, that is not your eyes, that's not the focus. It is actually getting blurry. Okay, the water's pretty hot, so I'm not gonna stick my hand in there too, too much. Um, I'm gonna keep swishing this around, so I will, like already you can see the water turning a lot. Um, I'm gonna swish this around a little bit, I'm going to put you on fast forward while this soaks. is starting to look really great and that printing the the back stitch really pops now so getting rid of that background color worked great um, I was using a spoon for a while because the water was pretty hot but it's uh it's cooled down a little bit so you'll see how much ink was in there that was all mostly the blue that was in behind that white color and I don't know how well you're going to be able to see the clouds and everything once this is done. You don't have to swish it around the way I'm swishing it around. Um, you can just leave it to soak. Which is what I'm going to do because this red and sorry for the it doesn't like to focus. Come on. There we go. Um, the red is always the last ink, it seems like, to come out. So I'm just gonna leave it to soak. It looks like everything else is gone. If you look at the legend, pretty much everything is gone. We're at five minutes, literally just five minutes, and almost all the ink is gone except for that red. So I'm just gonna leave that for about another five minutes, and then I'll change the water. Okay, we are at almost exactly 10 minutes uh, since I got this wet. And there is just the tiniest shadow of red still left. All of the symbols are gone, just the tiniest bit of red. So I am going to change the water. You can see how, how much ink was in there. Wowie. All right, so let me just get some fresh water. Here's some water ASMR for you. All right, and there's just a little bit of remnant of soap in there. I didn't put more soap in, that's just leftover um, from what was in there. And, oh my goodness, it's looking so good. So, so good. All right, and I think that red is probably gonna need at least another 10 minutes of soaking to come completely out. So let's give it some time. All right, I'm not sure how long it's been, maybe 10, 15 minutes. It looks like 
I don't know, I can still see the tiniest shadow of that red. It looks even more red on camera than it does by my eyes. Um, and I'm happy with that because when I frame it, I'm not gonna be, like that's gonna be cut off anyways. So I am happy with that. Now, when I take these out of the water, um, I don't scrunch them like this because I don't wanna disturb all of the backstitch. I don't wanna get it all tangled or ratty. So I'm just gonna squeeze it and I'm not gonna wring it, I just squeeze it. And then I have another dish towel. It's an older dish towel, so it's okay if there were any dye left on it. So far while this is wet, I cannot see the white stitching on the white canvas at all. That was a lot of work doing that stitching for not being able to see it. <laughs> And I'm just gonna kind of roll it. I might even I might even step on it to get the water out. In fact, I'm gonna do that. All right, so that is, you know, fairly dry. It's not dripping anyways. And then I'm just gonna leave it um, flat to dry for the night. And then we will quickly look at it tomorrow when it is dry to see if that white pops out anymore. <laughs> but as you can see, okay, so the whole experiment was doing just half cross rather than doing full cross, which I think is how you do needlepoint. I Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I think that that's what needlepoint is. This is basically half cross, but it just, this is just proof of concept that doing double the strands with half the cross really looks great. I don't, I mean, it doesn't exactly look like cross stitch, but it certainly looks like the image is supposed to look. We didn't lose any detail. There's no bald spots. It looks great. All right, so I will check in with you tomorrow morning when this is dry. Okay, hello, it is morning and this is very dry. Uh, it is still a little bit wrinkly, unfortunately, so I'm gonna have to iron it. I do have one of these frames from the dollar store and I think that this should fit just nicely in there. And I have someone in mind who I'd like to give this to. So the... <laughs> Clouds still don't show up any better. <laughs> I mean, I guess you can sort of see them, but they don't really show up any better. Uh, were they a waste of time? I don't know. <laughs> but uh, I really like the picture. It looks great. The half cross looks great. It looks fine dried. And um, yeah, I really like this half cross idea. And I like this image. It was fun to do. So I'm going to put a link to the project in the description box with our discount code as well. All right, so I don't do a lot of ironing in my real life, but I think ironing from the back is probably the way to go rather than ironing from the front. And I think that did it. <laughs> All right, it looks great. So the frame that I have is just one that I had on hand, and I don't know, it is a little bit heavy, I think, for the image, but that's what I have. All right, so the only issue here with framing is the glass and like the backing. The image is too big to get in there, and I don't, I'm gonna try first to just like stuff it in because I'd rather not cut the fabric because it is surged around the edges and I'd rather keep that intact. So let's see if this is gonna work. And then if not, then I will resort to cutting and I'll try to keep it fairly even, fairly straight, 
all of this is just a big experiment here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think I got it. Okay, let's see if it's and it is actually quite straight. So that's great that I did not have to cut the fabric. I mean, it looks a little stupid from the back, but you know, hopefully people are not looking from the back. I'm really glad I didn't have to cut the fabric. There's probably a better way to do that. If you know what it is, please put in the comments below because I could use that advice. But there it is. It looks amazing. I love it. What a great project. Um, I'm, I can't wait to give this to the person I have in mind. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Thanks for coming along for this experiment and have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.